Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a mukbang with all my food. I'm so excited, guys, I'm really hungry and I can't wait to just eat all of this Asian food. So I have, wait, let me see what I got because I just ordered on Uber Eats and um, I forget what I got. So we have Pad Thai, Singapore street noodles and vegetable fried rice. This is gonna be delicious. This is my new favorite place to get food. Oh my God, it's, it's what's it called? Peanut street noodles. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. That is what I'm talking about. Oh yes, honey boo. So um, can I put some lime on the top of that? Don't know why that's a thing, but it's a thing. Oh God, the nut, ah, the seed, ah. So, yeah. so you know when you're really, really hungover and you want like, well, I don't know if it's the same with you guys, but I always want like burgers and fries and stuff. I switched over to wanting this all the time. It's literally like my biggest weakness now. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, I'm going to break my chair in half, hon. That's really yummy. I'm going to eat all of my lipstick off. <gasps> it's already coming off. You know, in your lifetime, you eat like one lipstick. I think I'd eat like 10. <laughs> okay, so I have a few things that I want to talk about. And the first one is mine and Michael's sense of humor. Everyone's been talking about it. It's been all over the advice pages horrible bullying website if you guys don't know what that is so if you guys watch mine and michael's video then oh videos all the time you would know our sense of humor is literally just like bagging each other out like that's just what we do like it's funny to us like we find it hilarious and i don't know maybe we've got like a few new viewers or something and maybe they're the ones that are offended i'm not sure but if you've been watching us for a while you would know that our sense of humor is just like very like brutal like we rip each other's souls into shreds like we just think it's so funny and like we obviously never go too far like we don't actually hurt each other's feelings and if we do we obviously say something <sighs> how boring i got water should have got something else but um oh this is kind of spicy it's good we filmed two videos together one on my channel which was a mukbang and then one on his channel which we kind of like hashed out our argument like a year ago we just like had this like weird little like argument thing and we just spoke about it on his channel and we know we're always going to be really close friends so i guess like anything we say we know it's going to be resolved so we kind of just like hashed it out and obviously because like you guys have only ever seen us like laughing and joking around like if you like because you guys saw us for like three minutes being serious and talking about our actual like friendship a lot of people were like oh my god like you need to relax and i'm like well yeah i do need to relax i'm just a little bit upset so i'm pretty sure you guys have said things really like brutally when you're upset if someone hurts you like that's just how it is like but me and michael have a friendship that can never be ruined and i'm not gonna let anyone try and talk shit about our friendship because like well to be honest i don't really care because we're not gonna change for anyone so that's that you know like i love michael so much like you have no idea i would do anything for him seriously though i would take a bullet for him so don't think I'm mean to him. Don't think he's mean to me. Our friendship is just like a little bit unique, you know? So I'm actually planning on going to Europe in like three weeks or something, which I'm really excited about. I don't know what part of Europe I'm gonna go to. I have a few places in mind. I'm going with a few of my friends, but um, we're thinking like one place is Amsterdam or Spain or London. I'm not sure where we're gonna go yet, but I kind of have to choose what spot that I want to go to so then we can go and I'll let you guys know when I'm going so then I can meet some of you that are from there which will be so cool I don't really like this one as much as the pad thai mm. I'm gonna say that later I also have Splendor coming out which is a music festival so excited festivals are literally everything to me like I love going to festivals and dancing and getting drunk and like meeting you guys and hanging out with my friends oh nothing better nothing better in the world than dancing I'm just getting lit. I'm such like a young soul. Like, I love partying way too much. Meg said on Twitter, how happy are you two that you moved out of your apartment? I love how they're like talking like it's me and Michael filming a video because we're like always together. Um, but I'm just gonna speak on behalf of myself because he can say he can say what he wants to say on his own channel. Um, but I'm so happy that I moved out of my last apartment. If you guys don't know, I moved out of my last one because there was so much construction and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. And it was so annoying and like, I just wanted to move into like a house that was like big and like, I don't know, something that I just felt really comfortable in. Like I hate living on top of people. I hate when people can literally just like 
see me from the other buildings across the street. Literally, I couldn't even walk out in my house naked because everyone could see me. There was like at least 150 people that could have seen straight into my apartment. Like it was so bad. So I just wanted something really private and really secure and like safe. And that's what I got. And I'm really happy. So thanks for asking and thanks for caring. <laughs> if you guys know who this is, write her name in the comments because if you know, then you're an OG. Hey. Hey baby. Okay, on Twitter, people keep asking about Ariana Grande and Pete. I do not keep up with like celebrity news because like quite frankly, I don't really care. Like they're just the same as us, except she's more talented than me. She is literally insane. I have no talent compared to her. From what I've seen, she looks really happy with this new guy and I'm so happy for her. I'm happy for anyone that has found love, even if it's moving on quickly. Like honestly, that doesn't matter. As long as you're happy, that is the main thing. So kudos to you, Ariana. Girl power all the way. Oh my God, I'm so full already and I haven't even had much at all. I think it's the noodles that fill me up really much. Really, I should stop talking. Oh my God, wait, so Ariana Grande is engaged? Love that. Someone said, vegan. What's the greatest part of your life right now? Hmm. Well, great question. A lot has changed for me over the past two months. Like I feel like my whole life, don't I have a testy? I feel like my whole life has changed and it's crazy. I think the greatest part right now is me and my family are so incredibly close. Me and my mom, me and my dad. I mean, I haven't seen my brother in ages because he moved to Melbourne, which is really sad, but I'm gonna go see him soon. But I'm just so happy that I'm really close to my family now. I just like relied on them a lot more after I went through the breakup and it just made me feel so much closer to them knowing that they were there for me and supported me through everything. And like, yeah, me and my dad are so close. Like I literally call him like every second night and just like tell him my life story and he's just so supportive. And I don't know, I just, like I've met a lot of new people as well over the past few months and like, like just getting to know them, is, it's so nice to like meet new people. Like I, I love it so much and it's something that I never really used to do. So I'm really happy that I'm putting myself out there more. Your childhood growing up. My childhood was really, really good. My parents broke up when I was in prep or something. And then again, when I was in high school. And that's like really like the only negative thing that I can remember. My brother has told me that like his childhood was like shocking and like, I mean like not because of my parents, but like he saw some shocking things when he was younger that have like scarred him for life. And I don't remember because I was so young. <coughs> that is so spicy. I mean, my brother, my brother's 24, I think. We weren't very close growing up, but as soon as I left high school, I think like maybe when I matured a little bit more, we got really close, which I'm really happy about. And then when I was 10, that's when my little brother and sister were born. So me and my brother and sister are like 10 and like 12 years apart, which is like such a massive age gap. But I just remember like when I was in high school, I was just, or well, primary school. I was so obsessed with looking after my little brother and sister because they were like newborns. Oh my God. This is a really interesting topic. Abby said how to get past guilt. Okay, well me personally, if I ever did wrong by someone or I fucked up in any way, I get really, really bad guilt. It's all I think about until I tell the person and I apologize and make it right. It's just in my personality, like I have to make things right. Otherwise I'll be living with that guilt for the rest of my life. And I know a lot of people don't really care. Like if they do something like, oh, just move on, like whatever, but I have to bring it up with whoever I've hurt and I have to apologize a million times. And I have to get them to tell me how they feel about how I made them feel. You can't, I don't know, like lay it out on me, please. So I guess my tips to you guys are just confront the person you've hurt, explain your side of the story, explain everything you can as best as you can, really think it through before you say it. And then you've got to forgive yourself because if you've apologized, you've tried to move on, that is all you can do at the end of the day. If you've tried to make it better, then that's all. So young girl. You got this, I believe in you. Everyone makes mistakes, it's fine, it's life, it happens, no one's perfect. Don't don't stress about it too much. The last topic is breakups and learning how to be happy on your own. Oh my god, I'm so full, I actually can't breathe. Um, this, I feel like this is a question I'm always gonna get now. Like now that I've been through the breakup, I feel like everyone wants to know about the breakup and blah, 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 but obviously I'm not gonna get into personal details because I just don't even think that's necessary. But um, I think the 
the best thing to do with getting through a breakup is accepting why you two broke up, accepting why you're better off without them. The most important thing to being able to move on and be happy again, in my opinion, is surrounding yourself with friends. I've been lucky enough to have the most amazing, amazing support around me. And like so quickly, I've been able to just like feel happy like so genuinely happy and I literally give like most of that credit to my friends for just being there for me and my family and everything and all the support that I have so obviously at the end of the day you are all you have to an extent I mean like obviously your friends and family are going to be there for you but you need to be strong you need to put yourself first oh my god the oven's on that's a slight problem we could have blown up then um yeah but just putting yourself first and just being strong like you you know that you can do this you can know you can get through the breakup you know that one day you're going to find someone that's going to make you so happy and someone that you're meant to be with so i mean you don't need to think about meeting someone else but just know that there's someone out there for you and you're not going to be alone forever i don't want that anymore but for now i guess it is good to just be on your own and just like be alone for a bit and focus on yourself focus on your work focus on your friends happiness family all of that stuff you guys know how it is like i don't know i feel like when you go through breakups you already know what advice to give yourself but it's easier coming from someone else because it's like someone that's out of your mind telling you like how to deal with things so if you are going through a breakup that's that's a great way to start you know what i think watching someone eat junk food is satisfying for me anyway i always watch trisha paytas you macros and stuff like random oh burger king love that i just get satisfied watching someone else eat junk food because i'm like i don't have to eat junk food now because i've seen someone else eat it i don't know let me know what um type of food you guys want me to eat for my next mukbang and let me know if you'd like the ones sitting down or if you like the ones in my car oh look how pretty these flowers are that i got mm, these are from my new husband <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> So my company that I'm working with, love that. Love that. I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for sticking to the end of this video. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm going to take my lipstick off, didn't I?